Congratulations on the purchase of your Smartfield Gen 2 fuel management system. This short video will take you through the first steps of setting up your fuel management website. But before beginning the process of setting up your website, you need to spend a few moments to decide on the operational aspects of your system. The two main decisions are, one, how would you like to identify vehicles and plant within your system? And two, how would you like to identify drivers within your system? By far the most popular system is to have vehicles and plant identified by NFC FOBs and for drivers to access the system by use of a personal identification number, or a PIN. Therefore the vehicle and driver collecting the fuel are both recorded for every transaction. On delivery, your SmartFill package should contain your SmartFill serial number and security code to set up the website. This information is in a large white envelope inside the box that contained your SmartFill unit. Just open up any web browser and type the address www.fmtdata.com new and you will be taken to the product registration page. Type in the unit serial number and the security code and you will be taken to the admin registration page. Fill in the admin registration details. The site administrator is able to create other users for the website and even to select them as administrators so they can also have full control over the website. After admin registration, you will be taken to your website. The first thing everybody wants to do is add their vehicles to the system. When you log into the website, the default page is the transaction page. So just click on vehicles on the top menu bar to access the vehicle page. Before going any further, it is time to decide what vehicle information you would like to be included in each transaction. Click on the columns page to have a look at what information can be entered and stored. The list on the left is what will be shown on the vehicle page and reports. You may move columns between both lists by dragging with the mouse. You may also reorder the columns in the left hand list to change the order in which they are displayed. Now it is time to enter vehicle details. To go back to the main vehicle page, click on view. On the main vehicle page, select add vehicle. The input type is key or code. Key means the NFC fob and code means inputting a pin into the keypad. After this, enter the fob identification code or the desired pin, then a description of the vehicle. And finally, the registration of the vehicle. Add any further information that you set up previously and ensure that the enabled checkbox is ticked so that the vehicle can collect fuel. And then click add to finish the process. You should be returned to the vehicle view and your new vehicle will be listed. Adding drivers to the system is just as easy as adding vehicles. To access the driver display, click on drivers in the top menu bar. As with the vehicles, now is the time to decide what information you want to be collected about your drivers. Click on Columns to go to the column page to set up the driver display. As with vehicles, the display column is the left column and columns may be moved between both lists by dragging with the mouse. The columns may also be moved up or down within the left hand list to change the display order. Once you are happy with your display list, go back to the driver view by clicking View. To add a new driver, click on the Add Driver button. Confirm the input type. Add the required code and the driver name. And add any further information that you set up previously and ensure that the enabled checkbox is checked. And click Add to finish the process. If you have set up the driver as a supervisor, as shown here, then that person may dispense fuel without presenting a vehicle key. To review your transactions, Go to the Transactions page by clicking on Transactions on the top menu bar. As with vehicles and drivers, you may customise the layout of the transaction information you want displayed by accessing the Columns page and moving the columns between the two lists or up and down within the left hand list. To make use of the transactions in another program, just use the Export to CSV button next to the date range on the right hand side. This will open or save all transactions in the date range so they may be shown in a report or imported into another program. The CSV file format is an easy file to work with as each field is separated by commas and all the column headers are on the first line of the file. 
They can be opened with any text editor or spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel. When exporting transactions, if you choose Save, then the file transactions.csv will be found in your downloads folder. Or you may choose to open the file and then save it with any name in any directory you'd like. We have now come to the end of this short introductory video. There is more information about using your SmartFill unit in the operation manual, which can be accessed through the help page of your website and keep an eye out for further information videos.